and the reigning Israeli Super League champions, Maccabi Rand Media. It's Group B here in the Lahi Tapiola Arena in Joensu in the east of Finland for the opening week of the regular season of this very brand new basketball Champions League. Of course, you can follow the latest updates using the hashtag BasketballCL. Arena that can hold around about two and a half thousand fans and quite a lot of seats are being taken with just less than 10 minutes to go until the tip-off here. Kataya were domestic champions themselves only 12 months ago. Last year they had a very disappointing domestic campaign, unable to defend their crown. They didn't have the luxury of automatic qualification to the group stages of the Basketball Champions League like Maccabi Round Media did. So instead, the Uensu locals have had to defeat the Swedish side Solitalia Kings in the second qualifying round to guarantee their spot here in Group B. Now we have got five groups in total in the FIBA Champions League. Five groups of eight, the top four teams from each group plus the four best fifth place teams go through to the playoffs in February. And of course, a different in playoff schemes, the top of the top, the Number one team in each group gets an automatic qualification for the last 16. The others, depending on where they finish, will be in the first playoff round. This regular season that started officially yesterday will be continuing until January 25th and then we'll move into the playoffs in the advanced stages of the competition. Plenty of excitement across Europe with this new format. The Basketball Champions League. Bringing these two teams together. This is the Maccabi Round Media roster. One of the big players to watch out for. Number one, Joe Jackson from America. Has experience winning tournaments too. Won the Korean Basketball League in 2015 to 16. He's also got to keep an eye on Anthony Hilliard, American who played for Bison's Roima in Finland not so long ago. just going through their final warm-up preparations and some star players on them as well. Temu Raniko is the star player, the experienced one, 36 years of age. He's a three-time Finnish league MVP. Daniel Mullings was involved in the qualifying games and was excellent, accumulating 38 points, an average of 19 a game against Solitalia Kings. Got 24 points in game one of that qualification round. For Maccabi, round media, the Israeli Super League champions currently, their first ever domestic title. It got them the automatic qualification to the group stages. And the team's just coming through now. There's Nitzan Hanochi. Jackson coming through to the final pieces of team preparation in building up the nerves and excitement to the tip off. Energy finished sixth in the regular season of the Israeli Super League last year. They needed all five games to beat Maccabi Haifa in the quarterfinals. And that led them on to wins in the semi and then the final for the first ever domestic championship. But just listen to the noise building up here ahead of the Kataya basket team announcement. What an atmosphere here in the Lahi Tapiola Arena. Joey King first out of the blocks. Now doing everything in their power to make it the Israeli team aware they are the visitors. And it very much is a home crowd here in Yoensu. Last player out will be Daniel Mullins, a Canadian that is worth watching, that's for sure. Gibson will be fairly happy with his squad. 
his third Chorus Liga title. With Kataya Basket there first, he was the 2012 Coach of the Year. Eric Shevek, a little bit more experienced, 13 years old at 60, former coach of the Israeli national team. He is a truly experienced coach, that's for sure. The officials have gone through their warm ups and they are very nearly ready for the start of this game, too. Exciting competition this is. 22 different countries being represented in the regular season. This is the Maccabi Round Media starting five. Anthony Hillard is one to watch out for. Played in Belgium, Germany and France before coming here. Charles Thomas, another American. That's fairly impressive too. Played all around Europe. Last year it was at Maccabi Ashdod before moving here. Kataya. Well, some of the star players coming out of the blocks here. Byron Resley, one of those two, accumulated 35 points in that qualifying game against Natalia Kings. Has also been part of the NBA Development League as well for players who didn't quite find any success in the NBA draft, but still have some talent and still can offer some services and try and improve. Greg Gibson happy though that he's come from the NBA Development League and come to Finland. It really is a nervous sign for these players because it's something new, something they wouldn't have experienced. They won't be entirely sure what to expect from the opposition where Kataya Basket really will need that fan base to just drive them on. Going from baseline to baseline. The Americans in both rosters, mainly more in the Maccabi Ram media team and from all over as well. Non-American plays Nissan Hanochi is one because he worked under Shivek for Israel, the 2013 Euro basket back when Eric Shivek was the national team coach. So he'll know how to play under the six-year-old. Will he be able to find the play to overcome the finish side? Eight different nations represented in this group alone. Finland to Israel, Turkey, Russia, Italy, Ukraine, France and Romania too. This is European basketball at its finest. I have had a strong start to the domestic campaign too. Began in October at the very start of the month. 3-0 so far. Can't complain of that. Gabi not so successful, one and one. Beat Hapoel Eilat in game one. And then lost 90 to 86 to Hapoel Tel Aviv in game two. We said how the top four teams are the ones looking to go through. Fifth could get through, depending on their total of points compared to the other groups. Six and seven, well, that will be their basketball Champions League journey over, but they'll transfer to the FIBA Europe Cup. So still something to play for, even if your campaign goes at a bit of a stutter in first gear compared to some of your competitors. I'm expecting the noise here in the Lahi Tapiola Arena to be so loud that protection is needed for the youngsters and that's exactly what we're expecting and hoping for ourselves. 
Bucks final few practice shots done and dusted. Jerseys need to come on because it is almost game time here. Edan Zalmanson standing at 206 centimetres tall. Joint tallest of his team along with Ron Nekoshevic and Nimrod Levy. Last chance then for Eric Shivek and Greg Gibson to give out some tactics before they're forced to use a timeout to do so. A few stops in the game to tweak the plan and change things around. You need to watch European basketball, it's 10 minutes quarter legs we need it over time in a five minute period and that is available to be replayed until we have a winner so Katai basket making their way on court now we are almost ready to go here game day one of the basketball champions league Can Kataya Basket at home get off to the perfect start? Javon McCrea is going to go up with Nino Johnson, the two Americans head to head. And it's McCrea who wins the ball for Mukabe Round Media. Trejo finds Hillard. And Charles Thomas. Pass into McCrea. Battling through. And he gets up his own offensive rebound and gets the foul as well. Well, the initial shot may not have been good enough for McCrea. But not only does he pick up his rebound, he then gets fouled by Nino Johnson. Two free throws straight away inside the first 25 seconds to the Israeli side. Makes the first. Passes off the rim on the second, so Mullings will take over for the first possession for Kataya. Again, off the driving run from Ranico, and then the three. It's raining down early on. Patrick Richard driving to court. Working the space beautifully. But the three just won't go in. Joey King picks up the rebound. Great build-up play. And Maccabi round media as Mullen drives in for two. And what could have been a three-point gain for Rushon round media. And Maccabi round media drops down. So a two-point loss in the transition. Hillard. McCrea going for the rebound and eventually falls to Avi Benjamot. Loose pass. And result in the turnover. Maccabi Ramidi, also known as Maccabi Rishon Lezayan. Another two this time. Byron Resley getting involved. The 
Okay. And Jamal, and there's going to be a foul on Hillard here. He can't quite believe it. Officials eagle-eyed there. And what about this start for Kataya? Six-point lead early on. Oh, turnover. And here comes Hill out of a point to prove. Rebound is picked up at McCrea. And he adds the two. This time Renico makes the pass. It was his loose ball that resulted in the turnover. Mullings twisting, turning, but travelling. Turnover against the Canadian. Lifted that pivot foot, didn't he? Back up off the deck. Benchamo around the corner. Back to Benchamo. The tie have a man down. McCrea is denied by Mullings. Brilliantly done. And Wesley fouled in his drive towards court. Anaco's been down for a while. But even in his absence, Daniel Mullings picked up an incredible block. That was the screen on Temu Ranako, also known as a magician. Three time Finnish League MVP. Greg Gibson just having a few words about that screen. Go back up and looks to be okay. And back to Ranico. King for three. Deny. But Wesley picks up the rebound and adds two to the board. Great start this by Kataya Basket. Okay, it picks up another offensive rebound and picks up another two points. All five of the points set. Maccabi, Rishon have got, have come from that man there. King. He's just keeping his balance, driving. Wesley for three. Not close. You just wonder, the tire have a bit of dominance early on here. Should they just play safe, take the two each time? A couple of missed threes. Another missed three this time coming from Patrick Richard. Mullings on the drive again. McCray not just picking offensive rebounds, he takes a defensive one too. Thomas. Air ball that's picked up by Johnson, loses to McCray. He can't find the net. And now the two on one play. It's beautifully resulted, Wesley. Mullings and Wesley with a beautiful link up on the counter. Transition was quick and successful for Kataya there. At the edge of the three. Hillard drives in for two. Again, you can see Kataya may not have got at the pass of this time, but they're quickly looking for the instant transition down court. Ranaku almost lost it, but he does well to scoop it off the floor. 
And then the intercept comes. Patrick Richard, all the time he wants to slam down for two. Full advantage taken of the turnover there. Round a cup. Marling sees a twisty and difficult character to stop. Just given a nudge in the attempted shot, and so Mullings has the first two free throws for Kataya. Two play lead for Kataya. Then Shimon. With the leg dribble, just trying to confuse and Larry Zapala, who's come on for Kataya. Thomas. It's a shot, it's over the basket, and Kataya can break. Zapala. Is it to Mullings? Looking for that drive call again. Got to keep an eye on the shot clock here. Down into single digits. Wesley twisting, shooting, scoring. Thomas McCree. Dropping deep is Richard, the three Americans linking up here. Back to Charles Thomas. Now from the University of Arkansas misses. Another offensive rebound for McCrea. And then Charles Thomas comes in out of nowhere for the two. You have to pick up your defensive rebounds. Otherwise you will be punished like this. Joey King. Can't make the three. Charles Thomas backing in and in, trying to get towards the court against Joey King. A few more changes going for both teams. And staying on with McCrea. Thomas. Patrick Richard. He also came through the NBA Development League. McCrea. Get the two free throws. Ty so not too happy about the decision. Javon McRae has picked up seven rebounds already in this game. And his five-point tally could become seven here. No joy of the first. Anyone ready to dive in on the rebound this time? Well, he's gone. McRae will probably pick up his own rebound. Doesn't need to. Changes. Nimrod Levy comes on. McElhaney. McElhaney sinks the point. And the pressure for Gataya is causing issues. Mullings to the steal. 
And it goes in and out of the basket and away. With a screen of Kadir. Turnover. Kataya coming. Kapala has to slow it down with Mullings now. There's a real scrap going on in the middle. Hillard with some seriously physical defence on Makalainen. Time I've taken here. Katai must be pretty happy at the start though. 18 12. Only just over a minute left in this first quarter. Crowd of an absolutely fantastic two. Noise levels really are through the roof here. Lahi Tapiola Arena. Greg Gibson be fairly happy only thing really he could complain about is the amount of threes that haven't been successful Shevek trying to change the game plan then. Maccabi Rishon around media. Well, Lila is one of those who've come on, is Bradley. Sepala, establishing that pivot foot, just trying to find some space to drive towards the basket and make the two. Charles Thomas can't make the play, and still in the final minute of this first quarter. Maccabi have not made three points. Zero percent success rate on the three point shots for the Israelis. And they are ten points behind Kataya here. And Shamal. Much of the shot clock as you can hit. Pull back shot for two and makes it. So final possession of this first quarter should be with Kataya. Makalainen. Finds his way to Mullings. Makalainen for three. Rebound is away. And that is the end of the first quarter. What a start for the host of Kataya. At one point, it was a 10 point lead. It's now down to eight but still an excellent performance from the finish side. Ron Resley picked up eight points already. Daniel Mullings with three assists. Kataya well on top here so far. Kabi had so many rebounds, eight offensive rebounds. But the problem is their field goal percentage rate just not going anywhere. Look at that. Not out of two on the three points. And even on the two points, six out of 18, 33% success compared to Katai's 78. We spoke about the point earlier, maybe Katai just needs to take a few less threes, make them more 
easy twos. And that lead will just grow and grow out of control. Maccabi we shown around media were close to that foul limit as well. Four fouls allowed in one period anymore. And an automatic foul will be two free throws, no matter where you are in the field, on the court, no matter if you're shooting or not. Hit four, well behaved for that last minute. Second quarter, ready to begin here. Nino Johnson back on court, as is Tamu Raniko. Raniko, 136 national appearances for Finland. Mullings is going to be penalised here. When will McCarthy be shown around media make a three? And Archie not happy with what he's seeing so far. Eventually finds it to Kadir. This could be the moment. Down it goes. Nimrod Levy with the first three for the Israelis. Pull back jump shot off the rim. Mullings picks up the rebound. And fouled in the process. That's two coming for Kataya here. Daniel Mullings, the Canadian out of Mexico State University. Of China's second tier division and then the Bundesliga Basketball League in Germany. His 100% success rate at the free throws is gone. It's a second. So only a one point play. Look at Taya. Here. And picked up by Wesley. Radico from way downtown. Rebound backboard and away. Heavy driving. This time it's Mullings who picks up the defensive rebound. And looking for the quick transition down court. Makalainen thought about the three. Manico just takes a few steps back to reset and rebuild. Mullings with a turnover. And a foul to be against Makalainen. Six point game here. Lorenzo. Archie. Kadir. Ball. 
Johnson looking with the bounce pass to King. Wesley asking for that wide. Here he is. Ranico King for three. So well worked. But they don't get the points on the board. And the turnover. It's a quick transition in the pass from Hernachi. Off target. Korea. Big man a hit. Standing at 202 centimeters. Even with that stretched out arm, he can't reach that one. Get in. Hanachi. Get in, in space, but goes to Richard. Looking back for Kadir. It's a loose ball. Came off Mullings last. Almost a turnover for Kataya. I want to credit the Kataya defense as much as you can, but there's unforced errors coming from Mikavi Rishon Ram Media. Ben Shimon pulling the strings, orchestrating the play. Pulling back, jump shot for two. No good. And the rebound picked up by Wesley. And the top point scorer so far in this game for Kataya. And he gets into double figures with that two there. And Shamal fires inside of McCrea. Two point miss. Rebound picked up by Wesley again. takes it over centre court. Mullings, we always know he's going to drive in. Pull up shot for two. Fouled as well to add the extra chance. Lead back up to ten. Or is it? A bit of confusion. Greg Gibson's not happy. Foul is going to go against Daniel Mullings. So a timeout taken. The uh, straight Greg Gibson will have to talk to his players, but it's still been a strong second quarter to follow the first from Kataya Basket. Unforced errors have been made by actually Vex side. Seb was the former Israeli national team coach with the two Euro baskets, finished 13th out of 24. Teams in 2011, 2013, not so good, 21st out of 24. Hey, Attack! Work your open Point from Mullins being scratched off the board. It's only an eight point lead for Kataya. Patrick Richard fires it across to Hanachi for three, sinks it. No good for Bradley. And here with the rebound. Richard driving the court. Big collision. Oh, Leela eventually back up. Richard will get two free throws here. Interesting. No joys at three in that first quarter for McCarvey. 
here from two, but now they're two from four. Just closing the gap here. Mullins hit a two that he thought would give it a 10 point lead. That was scratched off. And the lead that Kataya have over Makari Rishon round media. He's only down to three points. Jerry King missing the screen there. Anaku telling him to get out of the way. Wesley. Anaku again. Waits for King for the screen. Shot clock down to five. Wesley pulls up a three. No good. And Archie inside of McCray. A bit of confidence in the Maccabi. Rishon Ram Media roster now. Kadir almost loses possession. Spins, but that pivot foot left the ground and he's done for traveling. Ranico from way downtown makes the three. It's that easy for the 36 year old. Kadir, he gets his first two on the board. Turnover, Rishon Ball. Simple two given to Ben Shamal there, no one near him. Time I take it. Gap down a two here in the Lahi Tapiola Arena in Yorensu. Cassie Basket 28, Maccabi Rishon Ramida 26. Midway in this second quarter. Well, from what looked to be a 10 point lead, Mullings to scratch off the board. And it's all changed. Let's just try and listen in here. What they're doing. They do it with the yeah, whole man we, side. We, we, but listen, we have a wall situation right there. It was perfect. Tommy, you can't stay back right here. If the wall's here, we're fine until that. Just don't let him curl. Weak side, get off. If he curls, now he doesn't curl. Now we got the wall. We got the wall. Horns or horn, get up the pressure here. But now we were in good shape there. Just on the ball screen right there. If he drives, we switch. Frustration then for Greb Gibson. His play is so close to executing his game plan, just off target when it really counts. Mullings, Wesley waiting on this near hand side. Instead, it goes for Joey King for three. Rebound picked up by guess who? Javon McCrea. Beast ball, Richard dives on it, but it's Mullings there first, and then McCrea. It's all a bit of a scramble. Hot potato that no one could grab. No, 
Oh, plenty of time for Patrick Richard for three. Foul. And he missed the three, but we'll get three more chances. Tyre, they've got three and a half minutes to go in this second quarter, and they cannot afford any more fouls. To make it a tie game then. Patrick Richard gets one. An all-star in both Holland and Jeremy in his time there. This gives Maccabi Rishon Ramidia the lead. How long has it been since we could say that? Around the cup. Joey King, turnover. And Archie breaks away in the transition. Gives it inside a bench ball. Beautiful play. What a change in fortune for Maccabi. The Fowler gives it inside. Joey kick. Shot clock at three. Goes for three. Gets nothing. Hey, now be Cherry King taken off. Wesley <laughs> in double figures and points. He's got the most rebounds for Kataya too with five. McRae has already picked up ten rebounds. Loose ball. Picked up by McRae. Going to be down at five here. And it's El Hinochi unhappy. Benjamin Moore too. It came off the fingertips. Meanwhile, Mullings drives but denied by Kadir. Two on three briefly. Patrick Richard holds up. Calls the play. And finds so much room. They can't find the basket and Mullings now breaks. Fast transition, basketball here. He's fouled as well. And Hanachi will take one for the team. Byron Wesley back on court and fouled, looking for two. It makes one. Still a two point game here. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter, and it's a backcourt foul. Not often you see that. Lazy for Maccabi, Rishon Round Media. And what a cheap turnover to give away. I think he's tie it. Have a chance not just to tie the game, but possibly get back in that lead. That was. So dominant 
early on in this second quarter. Wesley, Ranico, way downtown, off the rim. McCrea picks up the rebound again. Kadir, Hanachi, and it's a foul on Kadir. Hanachi sinks the three anyway, not to any points. Ranico. And it was McAlyden pleading his innocence, but as Kitai have hit the foul limit, it means that this is an automatic two free throw play for Maccabi and Sean Ram Media. Yeah. I shake it here, the power forward. Celebrating his 29th birthday in just a couple of weeks. He's building a lead to help celebrate at the end of this game. Sings both. So that foul limit really does hurt Kataya. Minute on the clock in this second quarter. Barely moving, refusing to flinch. Richards goes for three. Wesley picks up another rebound. Kataya's MVP of the game. They need him to step up and add more like that. Sweet three. Richard again. Kadir. Pull up jump shot from Richard, it's an air ball. Zapala. Hanako calling the play. Should be the final play of the half. The, the magician, as he's nicknamed, gives it away. Patrick Richard, two on the clock. Goes for three, no good. And that will do us for the half. Kataya Basket had a dominant lead that has just been wiped out by Maccabi Rashawn Ram Media. Second quarter, that saw them score only seven points. Home fans going, getting the refreshments. What a game we've got. 33-32 at the break, Maccabi, Rashawn, Ram Media lead. Thrilling two quarters of basketball. First week of the Basketball Champions League and it's living up to the hype and expectations. It took a long time for Maccabi to get their first three on the board. They got two in quick succession and Kataya have tried and tried and tried. They just cannot sink them from downtown. No surprise, Mukabe Rishon have made more free throws as well. Gataya hitting the foul limit in that second quarter. Byron Resley, star player though for the hosts. Double figures and points, closing in on double figures and rebounds too. John Javon McCrea was at some stage leading for a point scored. He still leads on rebounds. Patrick Richard though, seven points. He's there top score. So fans get a chance just to breathe or so. It's been full of drama and suddenly in that first quarter they had giant smiles on their faces expecting to come away with a giant lead into this half-time break. It's been wiped out.
So these are some of the start action from the first half. Wesley, one of many of his two. You see him pick up the turnover and add the two there. He's been the star player so far for Kataya. Points have been shared quite nicely. McCarvey, Richard with seven. Ben Shamal picking up three, six. Sean McRae with six, two. McRae picking up the rebounds was such a familiar sight, especially in this first quarter. This is all when it was going so well for Kataya. Had a strong lead. Byron Wesley. And so prolific. Daniel Mullings too on his drive to court. This was a big turning point. That play would have given them a 10 point lead. It was scratched off. And from there, McCarthy with Sean Ram Media just started cutting and cutting at that lead. And eventually, we were all square level time. It started working. Everything clicked. Ben Schmuel came on this beautiful run down the middle.
back for the warm-ups ahead of the third quarter hit in the La Tapiola Arena in Yorenzo. Thrilling game between Katia Basket and Maccabi with Sean Ram Media. Such a dominating first quarter for the hosts. 22-14. It's all gone so wrong for them. lead at the end of the first quarter and now two points down at the start of the third talked a lot about how Byron Wesley has been so strong so far in this game hitting 83.3% success rate on the twos. It's the three points have really let him down. He's north from three. And only one from his two free throws. So overall, percentage is just over half, which is still pretty good. But his two point success is five out of six. That's why he's got 11 points. His concern is his teammates joining him. Mullins has seven, that's 18 between them of the 29 the team have got. It's all a bit low scoring after that. King only has three. McAlinen, three. Ranico, three. Zapala, two. Concerning that. There is, it's a bit more spread out for Maccabi. Seven for Richard. Six for McRae. Six for Ben Shamol. And a couple of threes and twos dotted around the place. Eric Shevek gives out some instructions. So Homer Cray oh, very right. nearly wasn't playing. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 So let's get this game back on the road, shall we? Kataya Basket. 2015 Chorus Liga champions against Maccabi Rishon Ram Media. 2016 Israeli Super League champions. Ari Shebek was named the coach of the season that year. We are back. Kataya with the ball. Mullins looking for space. Looking for three is Ranako. No joy. It's Charles Thomas. Ben Shamoles. Picked up six points already this game. Shot clock down a three. And the foul on Charles Thomas will set up two free throws for the game leaders. Take your pick out of who was fouling him. A long hand came from Nino Johnson as well. Radica. Mullings driving. Lays it up on his forward and down to the ground. And Mullings on the board again. And then Nino Johnson flies in. Denial the shot. He's only going to be short lasting.
choice for Charles Thomas. Sinks. Three free throws so far in this third quarter. King. Around the corner to Wesley. Nice ball movement. Mullings drives. Rejected. Get it. Picks up the loose ball. Ben Shamal. Bounce pass to Thomas. And he can't add more points. And then he goes down with it. Hamilton's face from Nino Johnson, but it's fair game. Mullings travelling. Not for the first time, the Canadian. He's penalised for an illegal dribble. Struggling to keep possession. This is another foul going against Kataya. And that should be three inside the first two minutes of this third quarter. They hit the foul limit in the second. And they're already putting themselves in danger of that hit. talking to that six point game I right, need Byron Wesley to get some points in this third quarter Radico for three no good Thomas Driving his way through with two. Goes through King. And the Mullings came flying in. Timeout call by Greg Gibson. Understandably not happy with the start to this third quarter. His side have made. It's gone horribly wrong. You just see him. Not looking for an excuse. Keep your feet in the post. Stay down. Hands up. If he knocks you over, you'll know it. Down here, this possession, this possession, we go one against the zone. We go one against the zone. Boy, we boy, hit yeah, that boy, screen. Boy, boy. Uh, Byron coming off the stagger. Camus shuffling right, right here, okay? We go one, and we hit it hard, and we look to attack, and we get to the offensive board. They're not boxing us out. Now we got one zebra to give right now. One zebra to give only. Let's go. Hey, come on, come on, mental come on, toughness right here. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, that was a fascinating insight into the tactics. Let's go back. You can hear not just the plan, but Greg Gibson reminding them they've got one more foul to give, and that's it in this third quarter. They've got a long way to go without fouling. Here's Wesley. Looking for a little bit of space to drive in. And he's fouled. He's fouled in this third quarter against Maccabi Richon around media. Nice 
No good by Byron Wesley. Already on 14 points of the 34 Katai have got. And he misses both. <laughs> Whilst Wesley misses two, three to just falling in from Charles Thomas. Okay, I'll be at one point. We're 10 points down, so now 11 ahead. Concern here though, Charles Thomas holding his knee. He started this third quarter on fire. They don't want him to be missing. Shot clock down a three. Joey King for three. Rejected off the rim. Thomas. Two and fouled. That's the foul limit for Kataya. Any more, and they are in trouble. Charles Thomas will get a shot to be the top scorer from both teams in this game. Sinks it. 15 now on the ball for Charles Thomas. Mullins running the screen. And traveling again against the Canadian. <laughs> Becoming a regular occurrence that Daniel Mullings gets called up on traveling. Ken Jamal. Can't find a stream. Kadir lays it up and beautifully in. The 50 is up for Maccabi, Rishon Ram Media. Wesley fouled, misses a two. Missed two free throws moments ago. This is three in a row there. You know, Johnson comes in for Jerry King. Wesley misses another. Cadet with the rebound. Kataya only made two points in this third quarter. We're almost halfway through it. Cadet, Thomas for three. Gets it. There is no stopping Charles Thomas right now. Wesley comes off, free throw percentage is dropping from him, but it's all about Charles Thomas, number 21. Mullings, McAlinen, 
moving the ball nicely. Just needs some points on the board this third quarter. For three, off the rim, rebound picked up though by Sapala or Mulling, sorry. Makalainen is fouled, and that's foul number four for Maccabi Rishon. So both teams hit the foul limit in this third quarter. Still got four and a half to go. Makalainen finally gets some more points. It was just a third point they've got in this third quarter. Time for Makalainen. Four in this period for the hosts. Like all on his own, makes the three. It's raining threes for Maccabi now. Zipala looked to his left and no one there. Eventually finds Nino Johnson. Tanya will get the ball back. Ranico, bit of a floater for two. Uh, Javon McCray back on corner, back in the points. McCray and Thomas together is a scary combination. And they won't want both on. McCray has come on for Charles Thomas. Ranico from downtown makes it. Hillard on the turn. Rebound picked up by Nino Johnson. Zapala. Air ball. Rebound picked up and then surely that's a foul. Yes, and the Amy. Just tossed to the ground. <laughs> Look at the box score. 22 points. Tally for Kataya Basket first quarter, 10 in the second. They're up to nine now, but spent so much of the third quarter with just two to their name. Win about Charles get Thomas, though, 18 points to his name. Don't force shots. Yeah. And I don't like this shot. This one. Yeah. Go all the way. Dun, 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 dun. You're, so, you're so stronger than him. Taller than him and more athletic than him. Like yeah. So give one more dribble, one more dribble, and you get the up and under for a layup. Yeah. I've seen some of the stats that have come on. The I poor three-point yeah. success rate nice. Guys, for Kataya. Two side, two side. Charlie yeah. King made go. one out of okay. seven. McAllen one out of three. Ranico two out of eight. Wesley one out of four. They are throwing away points with those missed three. They are 17 behind. Started the second quarter. Only reasonably expecting Kataya Basket to have a strong lead in this game. It's just not been the case. A real turnaround from that first quarter. So, yes, and Amy. This is his first. Only played 21 minutes in total against Sotelia Kings. 
Montage was the 2008 Chorus League Rookie of the Year, but he misses both rebounds, uh, both free throws. The rebound picked up though. Niemi, naught from three on his field goals now. Hillard. Kadir can't make the three. Quick transition coming, Radico. Makalainen didn't like what he saw. And again, Radico. No good, Kadir with the rebound. And Jamal trying to feed it into McCray, no good. Zipala thought about the three, feeds it in. And now Niemi still can't make a play, but he catches his own rebound and then gives it away. Still comes in from Radico though. Sipala. Makalainen on the board. Get it. Uh, pass to Ben Shamal wasn't great. It was. Half a pass, half an alley. We've had a noob. Wesley still the top scorer. Kataya, and that's why sinks a three. Twenty-seven compared to five out of nine. Huge contrast. Hill after three, no good. Tua Lila thought he was going to get a shot away. Patrick Richard came out of nowhere to tip it out of play. Final 28 seconds of the third quarter. Gap down to 12. Pala driving to the key and is fouled and will add two surely. So now he's Pala had such a contrast in games in those qualifiers. 11 points in game one against Hordatelia Kings, none in game two despite playing for 19 minutes. There's more than five of his field goals. He adds both. 19 on the clock. And Kataya start closing that gap. Down to 10. Benjamin driving. Rebound is to be picked up by Jerikus Bradley. The pass, no good. Two point eight then. Ben Shamal looking for the pass, the set, and the shot. Oh. 
on the turn. Hillard. Richard gets it on the buzzer. How big could that three be? Huge three from Patrick Richard. Don't think he was expecting the pass. But he just sent it on its way. End of the third quarter. It just increases that lead on Maccabi Rap Media. Let's see what Shivek has to say. Well, he's not exactly resting on his laurels, is he? I mean, Shevek, a very strong team talk. Almost a telling off. Very strict. Doesn't want any complacency despite the 13 point lead that they've got. This is a terrible giveaway from Kadir to Mullings. Wins the rebound and looks for the pass. And before Hanachi could even turn around, Mullings who come in with the steal. What a third quarter it was for Charles Thomas. 18 points, one ahead of Wesley. The Kataya was 17. Richard, who made that stunning three at the end. Up it goes from Levy. Wesley, top of the key. Pull up, jump shot, in and out. No one can pick up the rebound. Eventually, it'll be Maccabi, Rishon, uh, media ball. Declines the chance for three. A foul against him. Mullings to Wesley. Thought about the early three. Goes back to the Canadian. He calls the set piece. for travelling in every quarter so far is Daniel Mullings. Shot clock down to three. Pull up shot for three. Mullings looks for the rebound and Thomas is there. All about clock management now for McCarvey. There's no need to rush. Take your time on each shot and each possession. And eventually this fourth quarter will just roll out of time in their favour. Richard for three. Rebound picked up by Levy, and then the foul comes in. Michaelinen claiming that he was stood still at the time. Three from Richard. Not making anything in this second, in this fourth quarter. Wesley comes driving and scores two. <laughs> 
Levy, no one near him, but can't make the three. Richard picked up the rebound. It's then stolen away. The floater pass for Mullings is stolen by Ben Shamal. Just see how long he's taking on each play. That clock going further and further down. Levy. Thomas turning. Can't make the play, but was fouled. goes against Thomas and so Kataya ball 11 point game <laughs> Mullings what Byron Wesley should say who Get even more points in the board. Points have not been shared through the Kataya team though. Mullings on nine, Wesley 21, Radico eight, could be ten here. Sets it up for Mullings for the slam. Beautiful play. Timeout taken. And just as well for us, we want a replay of the play of the night. Mullings hits double figures with the slam dunk. Gap down to nine. Seven, eleven on the clock. Okay. And try to attack more the ring because we took something like four, five, six, three point shots with no control. Okay. Even though they were good shots, but if we miss, let's try to go more inside. We went, every, whenever we went inside, even with the travelling, it's good, it's good action. But this inside game is good action for us. Okay, and defensively, yeah, put your hands up. Yeah. We know that the only way that they can, can, back, can come back to the game is those trees or those Ross. one ones. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too keen on the amount of threes this team are taken. Yeah. When they call whole side or some more safe and guaranteed exactly. two points on the ball. Side, yep. We use four man and then we wall with the five. Let's go. One, two, three. Use your hands. You can Anico's get experience. Just coming to show here in the team talk with Wesley. Team have relied on him so far. Katia Katia is the cry from the crowd. Doing everything they can. Coming together there between Ranico and Charles Thomas. Chances <laughs> Notchi is coming towards the basket for his two. Foul trouble, five fouls, or well five personal fouls, would be a disqualification. A couple of for Kataya on three. Johnson, travel. Not what Kataya want right now. Oh, the steal from Johnson's beautiful. And he takes it down court and loses it. No ball control from the American. Cut it. Three on the clock. Cut it. Denied by Johnson and carry a ball. Johnson. 
Round of coat. Ben Chamont. Taking a bit of a risk by keeping Kadir on court. He's on foul trouble. Mullings driving. Doesn't get in, but he picks up his own rebound. And adds the two. The gap gets shorter and shorter. Five point game. Look at that. Thomas and Mullings denies him. Mullings, Renico, Mullings, two more. What a play. Mullings with a steal. And from there, him and the magician, Renico, take on the two on one play and add two more to the board. It is nervy for Eric Shevek now. Take it easy, he says. Much easier said than done. If you thought this game was over midway in the third quarter, after those 28 points from Akavi Ramida gave them a big lead, you are very much mistaken. They're yet to score in this four, and we've already had four and a half minutes. They've got to use up the clock and make the twos. They're not doing either very well at the moment. Mark Gibson was so angry five, ten minutes ago. Looks so much more calmer now. Gap down to three. Charles Thomas, star player so far from Maccabi Round Media. Cut it for two. Knew he missed it straight away. Picks up his own rebound. against Mullings and Kadir. This will give a reset of the shot clock to 14. For Maccabi Richon. Patrick Richard looking to find a screen of Kadir. Here's Kadir. Feeds Charles Thomas. Two on. Mullings down. Charles Thomas back in the game on the board. Been a while. Mullings in real trouble. He's crawling off to the edge of the court. Wonder if that's the last we'll see of the Canadian. He's not in good shape.
Looks like he's taking a shot to the mouth of the nose. So, Ilari Sapala will come on in his place. Four to go. Kalainen, Manico, oh, the pass to McAlinen ends up bouncing off the rim and gifting possession to Maccabi Rishon round media. Richard feeds it low. Foul on Charles Thomas. Oh, that pass to McAlinen could be huge. Tyre now hit the foul limit. Thomas, looking for the bank shot, doesn't come off. Wesley picks up his own rebound and makes the second attempt. Rebound picked up by Thomas, fouled in the process. Two and one play coming up for McCarvey. Thomas adds to his tally. Lead back up to six to McCarvey. Wesley. Fouled by Patrick Richard. Wesley. Pull up, doesn't go for it. King. Shot clock down to three. Wesley for three points. No good. Huge play. And it doesn't come off for Kataya. Bench Mole, the pull up jump shot. It's no good. Should have just used up more time and eaten up the clock. Joey King for three, it's an in and out play. Six point gap, two three points missed by Skataya. You do the math. Benchimo still going, add two. Timeout called. Gap up to eight. Kataya in trouble with a minute and a half to go on the clock. Well, what do you do for Kataya Basket? Two threes, miss in succession. And when you're looking to close the gap, you've got to make your three points. Byron, right, demo right here, Byron right here with the ball. We go elevator. How did you say a sideline? We can still run it. We can still run it. We can still run it. We got time. We got time. It is. It is. So what do we got? We go elevator. Yep. So Byron, 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 Byron. We'll get it inbounds here. Demo, you. You inbound it and run to the corner right here. Byron, you get the ball and, and dribble over here. Okay, I want to come to this side. Uh, Illity, Illity right here. No, 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 just we'll go to this side. We'll go this side. We'll go this side. Right side. Dribble in there. Pass here, down, curl it, table, off, off. 
plan from Greg Gibson. Give it to Wesley. Give him some options down the line, down the middle. Or go for three himself. Wesley being identified as a key for Kataya. And the stats full of that 23 points in the game. Level with Charles Thomas. 10 rebounds for Wesley too. The double-double has been done. But it's all for nothing if he can't get the big win on the board. Keep an eye on the run from Ranico. We'll start out here. He'll find his way to the far corner eventually. There is Wesley. Ranico gets to that far corner. McAlinen. Turnover ball. Could be a huge play. Benjamin makes the two. And Kataya, who started the play possession, going out minus two points there. And the crowd is falling silent. Zapala for three. Makes it. That will get the crowd back up. Charles Thomas turns down the three. Benjamin Old turns down the three. I think he stepped out of bounds. Seven point game, less than a minute to go. Speed and efficiency needed here for Kataya. Sipala. Driving, feeding Wesley. He doesn't make the play. Kadir with the rebound. And that could be the game. The gap should be five. Hillard will eat the clock. Fire on Wesley. No good play. Kataya ball with 26 to go, but the gap is seven. Kataya started the first quarter so strongly. 22-14 lead. Three years off target. Kadir dribbling through on his own. Adds an extra two. Timeout is taken. But it's all for nothing. We've got Less than 10 seconds to go in the game. Kataya, what a start they had. And whilst they have got more points in this fourth quarter than Maccabi ran media, the damage was done in both quarters two and three. Byron right here, Joey right here, okay? So slap of the ball, Byron, you're gonna curl right here to the basket. If we can throw it there, it's there. As soon as Byron, he comes off and Joey, he gets right here, you're going to chase him right here. V, you're going to set a little rub screen right here. V, slip right here. So Byron, after you go get out, look for the throw over or table is going to be open right here for a shot. Okay, we try to score here. Don't foul after that. Don't foul. No. Okay, let's go. Let's but Gibson go. doesn't want the foul to be given away. It would stop the clock, but it would give Maccabi Ram Media points. To take. Look at it with the foul, and that's his personal foul tally. So, could it? He's going to be ejected. Kadir out of the game with five personal fouls. He's not happy about it. Around the coat. Misses the first. It. Probably won't go to the locker room. There's less than nine seconds of the game left. Okay. 
Wesley driving, can't feed to Parla. Off the hands of Hanachi. Now someone's going to come and take the ball here. Manico feeds it away. Thomas for the spectacular off the backboard. And there's the game. Kataya Basket had such a strong start. 22-14 lead at the end of the first quarter. But Maccabi Rashon Ram Media came fighting back hard in the second and third. And by the end of it all, the lead was just too difficult to climb back out of. Final score is Kataya Basket 64. Maccabi Rashon Ram Media 72. And so in the opening game of the Basketball Champions League, it's a victory on the road for Maccabi Round Media. Brilliant start to their Group B campaign. The Israeli Super League champions will be delighted with that result. Kataya had their hopes high, especially at the start. It all just fell apart for them. So many three point attempts that weren't successful for Kataya. 31 and only making seven. Charles Thomas, MVP of the game, 23 points for his side. Whilst for Kataya, Byron Wesley with a double double. 23 points, 11 rebounds. But it wasn't enough. Just didn't get the support, maybe, of his teammates. Shout out for Kadir, who got 12 rebounds in the game. Well, it'd be a disappointment for Kataya and some of the influence from other players. Ranico only made nine points. Makalainen and Zapala both only got seven. And so they head back to the locker room to reconsider what went wrong. Despite Byron Wesley's best efforts, Kataya can't come away with the win in the opening game. Thomas went on a stunning run in the middle of this match. 50% of his field goals. Picked up 23 points, five of which were free throws. He's got some help as well from Patrick Richard, 10 points. Five of those three throws as well. And after a dodgy start, it all fell into place. For Maccabi, we shone around media. Really strong performance in quarters two and three. And they ran down the clock in the fourth. All they needed to do. Got a little bit nervy. And actually, Vec was happy with the start of that final quarter. But all that matters is they go away. Back to Israel with the win. And start strongly in group B. Final score hit. At the Lahi Tapiola Arena in Urentu. On game day one of the Basketball Champions League in Group B, Gataya Basket 64, Maccabi Rishon Ram Media 72. Thank you. 